Hello, 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 and welcome back to Settlement Survival. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and we've got a fire approaching, which is not ideal. Definitely not great. But the people of New O Potatoes have been stockpiling water, and it's in the green, and it feels good having all of these things in the green. I mean, look at all those peas. Peas for days, I tell you. Fantastic. They had a bountiful harvest in the last growing season. Uh, and then, oh, I guess the farms can be closed now. That's, that's that done, isn't it? We've got 11 workers to work with, though, which is fantastic. Oh, and look, we've actually got some coffee beans this year for the first time ever. I mean, I don't know what we can actually do with the coffee beans, but we're having them, and that is exciting. <laughs> right, we need to get some of these workers doing things. A stone has been a bit of a problem. Fuel to keep warm is always a bit of a problem. Can we put somebody in there? Maybe we can. Do we have another forester? Wood is sort of fine, but I'm sure it's going to not be fine soon enough, and then it's like a whole thing. Chopping house. I mean, that's making domestic fuel, which wouldn't be that bad. But we're going to have someone come in the sawmill soon. Um, we probably need to cut down some more wood. It's constantly felling trees everywhere. Come over here. Get all those trees. Come over here. Get all these trees. Just get all the trees. We need, we need the wood. We're always going to need the wood. Especially when we start turning them into planks. And we're going to be doing that today, hopefully. And then, I don't know, if we could, we could build another fishing dock, but I feel like... Do we need another fishing dock? I mean, at some point, we do have to ramp up the food production as our little town grows. What we kind of need, though, is another mine. One that's just getting iron ore. So, I mean, we could put one possibly over here. I'm not sure if it will fit on that mountain. There is this mountain, and it has extra jade output. Which is interesting. So, I wonder if we should be putting a mine in there. I mean, that's quite far away from the walk, but we do have this now. The boiler room, which does have some coal in it. So, that means people working in this area don't have to go very far to get warm. And same with over here. Hopefully, that's going to result in less of our hunters and gatherers freezing to death. Hopefully. I mean, I don't know. I wonder if we need, like, a boiler room in the main area as well. Maybe they could just go to their houses, though, to get warm. And I'm, like, I'm assuming that's what Joshua's going to do. He's freezing, but he's just going to pop home, and he's going to warm right up. The temperature is very cold. It is a massive problem. Where are you going? Wait, no, you're supposed to be going... Oh, okay. All right, those are the options, too. I mean, you can just continue to cut down trees, even though you're freezing to death. But please don't die. That's uh, pretty important to me. <laughs> We'd like to keep going without deaths. Minimal deaths. You're allowed to die from old age, and that is it. Nothing else. Nothing else. I wonder if we should stick someone else in the builder hat. I feel like poor Kirk having to work so hard by themselves. And Kirk is not a young man anymore. He is not a young man. He is 60 years old. I mean, I guess he's not that old either, but, you know, he's just, uh, he doesn't even have any shoes on. Do we, are we not producing enough shoes? Do we need to put another knitter in here? Do we have enough reeds? You're producing reeds. Oh yeah, 120 you've produced this year. That should be fine. I don't think the, uh... 50. It only takes 10 per shoe, so yeah, we should be able to make a few at least. We're getting through another winter. But we've got food stockpiled. A lot of food. I'm so pleased with the amount of food that these people have managed to stockpile. What's the problem over here? Oh, we don't have any stone, right? Of course. We are getting stone, though. We've got five people digging away there. And we've got little Dave here doing cut stone for us. We don't really need cut stone at the moment. I wonder, maybe we'll close this off for a bit. Dave, just come work over here. There you go. Dave is going to get some more stone. Maybe Dave can go back to that job in a little bit, but we don't need cut stone at the moment. We need the raw stone, so let's just carry on with that. Ooh, and the sawmill. I don't think we're going to put two people in here. That feels like too many. But we do want to be making some planks, so we're going to get started making a few planks, and then they're going to build this, and we'll see if we get workers in there. I mean, we do have more people now, especially in the winter. We could just do winter farming. What is with these broken bones? What is happening, you guys? Foot fractured. Ankle sprained. You need better shoes, I think. Freezing. Okay. I thought you had a broken bone. Sorry. Clicked on the wrong person, obviously. Right. I mean, they're getting to the doctors, at least. Hopefully, they can go get those things looked at. But why is... I mean, you're not wearing shoes. You need to make more shoes. People are desperately for shoes. Sebastian, come help Agatha. These do not look like young people anymore, either. 60. So when they turn 60, they get the very white hair. Is that what happens here? Possibly. 
<laughs> they all look very old. I wonder if our citizens are like aging, you know, quite rapidly. I wonder if we're getting to the point because we're on year 18 already, which I think is pretty good considering all the problems that new O Potato citizens have faced. We're, yeah, cracking on. Year 18, this has definitely gone better than uh, O Potatoes, our very first village in season one. This is, this is ticking on quite a lot better and we are making some progress. I wouldn't say rapid progress by any means, but we're making progress. 11 citizens want new houses. I guess they just don't want to be living here, do they? I mean, some of them might couple up, right? And then it will, you know, two birds, one stone in those houses. But we desperately need the stone. Where is the stone going? Is there something in particular that you're building that is taking all the stone? I guess this did. Um, but perhaps we should prioritize these. Stick that on priority and at least get some new houses built here. Right, let's take time on a little faster. Let's get towards the growing season again, just to make sure that we've got our people all in the right places. Oh, I can't believe how many broken bones there are. And everyone's really cold. Go here, this will warm you up. That's what I built it for. What is Murphy doing? If you're not even warming up there, you're going home. Although I guess you can't eat here. Very like temporary help thing. Moses and Ariana, you probably need to be growing, planting some trees. I'm gonna take you off the fell trees, just plant trees for right now. Because our general laborers right now are cutting them all down. Can't believe how many broken bones there are. Oh, but we got one of the houses built, looks like. Oh no, it's being built right now. Do we need another worker? Kerwin and Kirk, are you doing all right in there? Everybody is freezing. This is an exceptionally cold winter. We've got quite a lot of clay. I wonder if we should swap this over to sand now so we can get a little stockpile of sand going. I mean, if we take a look, we've got 430 clay. So I think if we switch over to sand, not cold sand, just regular sand for a while, then we can, when we do have the ability to make glass, then we're kind of be good. Hmm, two new births. That's exciting. Okay, these two houses are built. However, they don't have any fuel in them. Uh, and we don't seem to have any spare fuel. We always have... Fuel reserves are always low, and I don't understand why. Like, we've worked so hard. Come on. Maybe we need to upgrade this. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Right, here's another house. Good. How many houses are we still short? Ten. Oh, my. Goodness. Okay. Where are we going to even put these houses? Yeah, there's a little road here. Oh, that way. Put two houses along that road, maybe? I mean, it's not... Oh, over here. We've got lots of space for houses over here. I guess it'd be better to have empty houses than not enough houses. We want people to be happy. As happy as possible. Uh, excuse me. Cleveland the Forester, 22 years old, died by the spit of alpaca when playing with it. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> How weak could you possibly be that an alpaca spit on you and then you just died? Ah, fire! 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 Do we have iron fighters? Who's, who puts out the fire? Fire! A fire broke out. I get that fire. Who, who puts out? Oh, phew. Okay. <laughs> right, it is the fire season now. We are going to get that randomly. Uh, panic and also alpaca spit. Not ideal. Um, oh, he was a forester too, so he was working over here. I don't even see alpacas over here. Stop playing with alpacas. They're not toys. It's not good. Oh, boy. Okay, oh, March is arrived. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Open these. We need to get people... Uh, let me just grab some workers and then we'll uh, be ready to go. Right, like the house has already been rebuilt, which is good. Um, this is going... Right, what do we have? We've got three laborers still out and about. We've got... Oh, we were going to open up this one, weren't we? Yes, perfect. Okay, I mean, it's March, but it's March. It is March. And we're getting the things in the ground. We've got only three people getting oats, but I think that's going to be okay. Now, we do have actually spare water. I wonder if it's time to open this up as well. The food is low. What is happening? We could open up this compost, but we'd be using our water. We better wait till after this fire season is passed so that random buildings stop catching fire. And then I think it's time to open up the compost. With six people getting water, we're much better off. So maybe it's time to use some compost in these fields. Or fertilizer, rather. Compost, fertilizer. I feel like it's similar. And then we can have even better production all the time rather than just some of the time. Right, happiness is at 69% there. That's good. No effect. We needed to be higher. What happened? We were happier before, weren't we? I guess it's because there's a lot of people who want new houses. We need to get these houses built. It's a matter of urgency. I wonder if we should get some more workers to be 
building? I mean, I'm nervous that we're not going to be getting enough coal again. I might grab two of you and put you back over here. The amount of time we spend just managing where people are is outrageous. Oh, hello, big tree. Unusually fertile land again. Now, we could cut it down and get like a ton of wood or transplant it and then trees grow faster in general. Now, I feel like trees haven't been growing particularly slowly, but I don't want trees to grow slower. We don't want to waste our iron tools, do we? Oh, we've got tons. Let's transplant it. And that means our fertile soil is preserved and trees in the settlement are going to grow more rapidly. Good. We love like, when nice things happen like that. And we only have one broken foot in the village. So that's helpful. Right, how close are we to another tech point? Oh, about halfway there. I'm wondering if we should actually go for the research institute so that we do get more tech XP quicker because we're not really able to do a lot of the things we want it to do because we want to be obviously expanding and getting better but I feel like we're not at the moment. There's a lot of things to research still that we just haven't been able to do yet. Like a plantation maybe. Ooh. I don't know. There's lots of good things in here but I mean even just like better delivery would probably be good. So the marketplaces will deliver things quicker to the houses. Marketplace has lots of good food in here though. Which is good and a backlog of water for their houses. People are sorted. They've got things to drink in their houses, food to eat, coal for their fireplace. Everything is good. You've got a lovely variety there, Riley and Miles. Oh, and Miles is just a student. He just lives with his mum. Aw. Thirteen students there. Bertram. Good teacher. Everyone's having a very nice time. What are we... Iron ore. We're very much out of iron ore. I feel like we do sort of need another mine. I wonder where we'd put it though. Back here, I think, because it's not too far away then. That feels quite far away, but it does have the jade thing. So I don't know if that's more what we need. It might be. Yeah, let's give it a go. We need stone, so that's going to take a while. We'll keep the houses though as priority. That's what they're currently working on. Just, and then we're going to do this one next because we want the happiness to go back up again. We need it to be over 80 so that we get the plus 10% work efficiency. That's going to be very, very helpful. So we need to make these people happier. 10 citizens want new houses, so we need to build those houses. Then we can worry about that. Fuel reserves are low. Fuel reserves are always low. I don't know what you want from me. I guess we can make domestic fuel. We'd have to open this up. Well, we've got a worker. Payne can go work there. All right, our health and happiness are both at 69%. <laughs> Might be our lucky number or unlucky number. I'm not quite sure. We've got a boat coming and our tree regeneration is up, which is also good. You guys are working. I think you could go back to felling trees as well. There's lots of trees on this side that could be harvested. What are you guys doing? I feel like this is, they just don't produce very much here. I mean, it's good for the variety, I guess, and it's the only way we can get the herbs at the moment, so it's good. And they're the ones who find the seeds, aren't they? So we do want that. Ooh, a new worker. Harper has graduated from school. Well done, Harper. Congratulations. I don't know where you're going to work. You guys have not got very much planted there. I mean, there is only three of them compared to the four everywhere else, but it feels like maybe we'll put another person there. April, you can go work there. April looks very pretty. These art, the art for the people is just so lovely. Everyone looks so lovely. How handsome Elroy is. Ah, uh, so lovely. Oh no, the food is getting kind of scarily low. I mean, I think people have food in their houses. So I think they're going to be okay. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, look how much food you have. I mean, you have four people, but still. Herman, why are you a builder? Shouldn't You're only 14. Shouldn't you be at school? Because the other guy was 16 and he was in school, wherever that guy was. Yeah, Miles, he's a student. He's 16. Why is... Norman's a student as well. Student, farmer. Yeah. Oh, Catherine's 17 though, so she's grown up. But Florence is only 14. What is this? Why is she not in school? What is the reason? Do they get to choose whether they go to school or not? Because that doesn't seem right. Or have they already graduated? Maybe they're more clever. So they've graduated sooner. Is that what it is? Florence, are you educated? No, she didn't have an education. She did not have an education. She's 14. She's working the fields. She, why? Why can't you go to school? There's space in the building still. It's just not fair. It's not fair that she's not gone to school and I don't understand why. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. 
We've got another boat coming, so we should be able to see it soon on the horizon. I'm hoping, you know, we'd like a seed or a chicken or a cow or, um, I don't know, something good. I mean, I guess I'd rather more animals rather than more seeds because I feel like we're kind of, we're good with the seeds. We're, we're starting to make some coffee, which is kind of cool. We're going to get some oats this year, make some oatmeal. I don't know what they're going to make with it, but it'll be lovely. All right. So actually, I think there was only that one fire and we've just passed it. We're good. We're sorted. That's no problem. Can we get a worker to come work the compost? What happened? I thought we had a worker. What happened to them? Oh, this has opened. Oh, Harper's over here getting fish now. I mean, that's cool. How she injured herself, though? She sprained her ankle. She's got shoes on. That's supposed to help. I mean, do we want a fisher person? Also, do we want these open in the during the summer? I feel like we could close these in the summertime. Someone can come work here. And where else could you go work? I don't think we have any flax. We haven't grown flax in a while. Maybe come work here. We need more stone. How are these houses going? Oh no, we don't have enough iron ore. Ah, okay, interesting. Oh, they do have seeds, but look how expensive they are. Even if we sold everything we have, we would not make enough money. Oh, I don't need trees. I don't want tree seeds, but I want... Oh no, wait, the price is... No, those are plums. They're not seeds, are they? They're just... We would literally just be buying plums or cherries. We want the seeds. Plum seeds and cherry seeds. That's what we want. Could we sell, though... If we sold this dried animal dung, yeah, we would make 320 coins. All right, well, let's buy a cherry and a plum. <laughs> Certainly not buying a tree seed. That's so expensive. Selling price is higher than purchase price. I mean, that's not a problem, is it? Or is it a problem? I feel like it is a problem. They're not going to give us coins, are they? Oh, do you know what we need to do? We're not going to worry about you. You can just be gone. This is fine. We need a knowledge point. We need a knowledge point. That's what we need. Oh, um, because we need to get logistics. We need no trade. That's it. We need trade. Can we build? Hold on. Maybe we could. Oh, a trading post. This is what we need. We need a trading post. Where can I put this? Can we hide it behind here. There's no roads over here, but we could build a road around, I guess. Trading post. We need a trading post. When we have a trading post, we can go and trade with other nations, other cities. Can I put a road through here? No, not really. Oh, it's cut off by the corner. Okay. We need this. Then we can go out and trade with other nations and we're going to be able to make some money. Oh, that's good. Oh, I'll get some turkeys. Come on, hunters. Find these turkeys. Right, a citizen has been injured. What are you doing? Stop spraining your ankle, Sebastian. He's 71 years old. Bless him. 71 years old. I'm working at the quarry. Ugh. Oh, Good thing there's no retirement age. I think we would really struggle if people were like, Oh, I'm not going to work anymore because I'm, I've gotten a bit too old. No, we need you. We're desperate. Oh, here, we don't need you guys anymore, though. Are you guys all harvesting? Looks like it. Um, we're going to run out of time, aren't we? Okay, quick. Come help harvest. Come help harvest. And I need to send people in here. One more worker. There we go. Ah, they're not going to make it. Classic. It always happens. All right. Close the farms off for another season. I'm going to add a person to being a builder. Because we need... Yeah, we need a builder. That's definitely... They've prioritized this, but I really wanted you to prioritize that. Oh, we can't build the houses. We have no iron ore. Right. Oh. Oh, traveling merchant. Iron ore. He only wants 30. Let's sell him 30. Oh, I'm only allowed to sell one thing. No, I want to sell both. No, no, I had both. We also had tons of fat. Oh, well, we tried. Right, we desperately need the iron ore, but we also desperately need the coal because I don't, don't have any in reserves. Absolutely none. What we could do is put another person in the chopping house. So that we're making more domestic fuel here to keep our houses warm. That could work. I just need somebody to go and find me a turkey. Or a goose. Find me a turkey or a goose and bring it back, please. Right, Nicole has graduated from school. Excellent. We've got so many workers. But that's... We have the, a boon of workers, which is really nice to see. 
looks like another person over here fishing. Nicole, go fish with Dave. I mean, you're an educated worker, but now you are also a fisher person. How's this going? I've gotten some sand. 85 sand. Well done, you. Ooh, here we go. Lots of workers in here. Iron ore. Thank you. Five people straight away getting iron ore. That's going to help these houses build. And Bob's your uncle, you know? Take the iron ore directly into those houses and get those built. Thank you. And then this is going to be for a later date. When it's not quite the priority we have right now. So many broken bones and sprained ankles again. What are you guys doing? How is the shoe going? Oh, we're out of raw materials. Interesting. Okay. Come work over there. You're out of raw materials. We'll have to close that for a little while. Someone can come back in here, though. And where else do we might need people? I mean, it'd be nice if we could make some better... Oh, we can... Can't quite upgrade it yet. We need 30 stone and some iron ore, but... Let's select it. Let's try to upgrade. See if we can build these people some coats. Now, we really need some wood. That is becoming increasingly apparent. So, can you come out... Where are we going to get the trees from? I guess we can just get these trees that are hiding back here. Any of the trees in the village. We don't need trees in our village. Psh. We do need a lot of wood, but we've got four laborers, so they can go and get, get more wood. Because we are using it to make planks now. Let's see, how are we doing for planks? Maybe we've got enough. 72. Maybe we pause the sawmill again. Maybe we don't need more planks. We need more wood. Especially when we're using wood for domestic fuel. This could be very good. Okay, we've got lots of... Oh, I mean, they just don't produce very much, do they? It is January, but... It's so slow getting stone. I think maybe when the weather's warm, if we can sacrifice some workers to maybe just come get these rocks, I think they're a bit faster to gather. Right. Well done, Beecher. Graduated from school. Right, well, we have survived yet another year. We are on year 20, but unfortunately, we are out of video time today. And luckily, we did not let our people burn. So that is very good news. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more settlement survival. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.